there! Welcome to Airship Genesis. Prepare yourself for a crazy, high-flying adventure. There are chases, and villains, and hoverboards, and the Bible, and... Logan, you're gonna give away the whole episode! Oh, right! Here we go! Strap in for the Season 2 finale of Airship Genesis, the strike of the Bible Bandits! Take flight on the Airship Genesis and join in the legendary Bible adventures of the Genesis Exploration Squad. Cameron! Gabby! Logan! Wyatt! Emma! And our pet monkey, Jules! <laughs> Five incredible adventurers entrusted with an airship that can take them anywhere in the world. Powered by a special Bible that also opens pathways to the past, there is no telling where they will end up on their search for history's legendary artifacts. And then, of course, there is me, their trusty AI companion, Rupert. Welcome aboard. Previously, on this season of Airship Genesis. Hey, guys! 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 We have hundreds of little museum visitors! Wish it's in wheelies! It's a hedgehog army! Ah, uh, Norton! It's you! Uh, the hedgehogs that you sent to attack the Genesis Bible experience are back. And? Oh, they're empty-handed, so... Bible sticks! Oh, father! If we are going to steal the Exploration Squad's Bible, then we're going to need something much more salty. I shall produce nanobots! Guys, I think someone has been messing with our technology. The airship and Rupert. How could someone else be messing with him and the airship? Unless... Unless what? Unless someone else figured out a way in. Someone did break into the museum before, remember? The ones who broke in and destroyed the legendary artifacts in the Genesis Bible experience. The whole reason we're on these missions. We should take extreme precautions and monitor the complex closely. Something suspicious is afoot. And now, the exciting conclusion of Airship Genesis Legendary Bible Adventures Season 2. Welcome to huh? Level 40, Airship Genesis Hangar. Huh? Hello? Is anyone there? No? Good. Master Vanda, do you read me? Your 10! Shh! Stealth mode! Remember? Oh, sorry. Do you read me? Yes, I read you, Norton. Loud and clear. Have you found it yet? Not yet, but according to the nanobots still here inside of the Genesis Exploration Complex, our target is close by. I know it. Welcome aboard the airship Genesis. Bingo. <gasps> Norton! Yes, Master Vanda? I've got it! I've got the Airship Genesis Bible! <gasps> oh boy! Well done, Master Vanda! Let's celebrate! Get out the soda and chips! I'll take that, Genesis Exploration Squad! Hello? Is someone there? Shh! Norton! Someone's here! What? Who's that? Squad? Squad to the hangar! Thanks a lot, Norton! Get ready! Here I come! Ah! Who are you? Who am I? Who am I? Why, I am the greatest supervillain in the world! And the one who will stop you from ever going through a pathway again! <laughs> Our Bible! Give it back! What's going on? It's that kid! He's got the Bible from the airship! Hey, hey, hey! That's the kid I met at Cosmo's Diner! Vander! Well, this Vander is heading for the hangar doors! A lot of good that'll do him! The exit leads to a 500-foot drop! Looks like he's got his own airship! Oh, dear! Thanks a lot for the Bible Exploration Squad! <laughs> we'll be sure to take good care of it! Not! <laughs> What's going on? Dad! That's the... the... Airship One. Our old airship. Cyrus? 
<laughs> As Bender said, thanks for the Bible, Captain Roger. See, if your little exploration squad can continue collecting the artifacts I deleted. That's right, it was me. I was the one to rid this wretched town of this idiotic museum. We knew it was you. What? Oh, I was supposed to be a villainous mystery. I, I made the costumes, but still, I mean, still, revenge is mine. <laughs> and on that note, sayonara. Yeah, sayonara, doo -doo 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 -doo. No! Oh, what do we do? What do we do? They aren't getting away with this. To the mini jet. Hey, where's Rupert? No, Rupert! He's in deep sleep mode again. I, I don't understand. I removed the nanobots from his system before... Unless... Unless that nanobot inserted a virus into Rupert? They must have activated it in order to get into the complex undetected. Rupert! Here, give Rupert to me. I'll see what I can do. I'll also alert the rest of your parents of what's happened. The kid Cyrus and his son Vander must be stopped. We're on it, Dad. I know you are, son. I'll be back as soon as I can. Cam, come in! I'm here, Gabby. Have you made it to the mini-jet? Affirmative! Bad news, though. It's been disabled. You should see the wiring. It's a mess! <sighs> come back up to the hangar. We're all going to need to work together to get that Bible back. On my way! It's a clear day here in Rocket Cove this afternoon. So clear, I'm wondering if the sky isn't playing tricks on these delightfully dreamy eyes. <laughs> Reports are coming in about a strange-looking airship passing over the town. A close-up image of the ship makes us wonder if this isn't really just a flying submarine with its plumes of seaweed and barnacles covering its backside. If you out there have any information regarding this elusive ship, please let your local news station know. I'm Rick Rickman, and this is Channel 6 News. That's the Airship One? It looks, well, disgusting. It, like it's been sitting in the bay for 20 years. Yeah. Regardless, we have to figure out a way to get the Bible back. I don't see how that's possible. We can't power the airship without the Bible. And the mini jet is out of the question. Gabby's right. All of our flying apparatuses are, well, kaput. Kaput. We don't even have Rupert to help us figure this one out. But if we don't get that Bible back, no more exploration squad, no more adventures, and no more legendary artifacts. This might be the end, guys. No. No, this isn't the end. What? Huh? Huh? Cam, we all want to get the Bible back, but without our airship... Follow me. Huh? Come on, squad, we can't give up. Aboard the airship. I right. don't know oh, about okay. this. Well? Look, I know we can't come up with a way to chase after the airship one, but, but we've forgotten. Forgotten what, Cam? That we aren't alone. God is all-powerful, and He is with us! We know, Cam, but we've got to be practical. Without the Bible, this airship isn't getting off the ground. But remember, Luke 137 says, For nothing will be impossible with God. Wow. What was that? The airship Genesis! It, it moved! But that's impossible! We don't have the Bible! Yes. Yes, we do! Cam, say that again! We're not alone? No. The verse! Oh, oh, Luke 137. For nothing will be impossible with God. <laughs> yes! Oh, wow. The Bible verse! It, it powered the airship! We may not have the physical Bible, but we still have God's word in our hearts. <laughs> exactly! Widgets and wheelies, we're back in business! Oh, yeah! Strap in, squad! We've got a flying dumpster to catch! <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, my masters are the best, come on, oh yeah, oh yeah, they succeeded all the quests. Not him, please. I love to celebrate as much as the next all-powerful, extremely intelligent supervillain, but this is, well, agonizing. Oh, right, yes of course, Master Cyrus, your evilness. Sorry, I should have warmed up my voice anyways. Me, 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 <gasps> Oh, we made the news! Turn it 
Turn it up! This is Shelly Shores with a live update coming from the Rocket Cove Square. The mysterious and frankly hideous airship still hovers over the town. Huh. How rude. After this past summer's breadstorm, commonly referred to as the breadpocalypse, when Rocket Cove was almost completely destroyed by hordes of bread falling from a giant bread ship, people are worried that this ship might also create a similar situation. Of course, <laughs> by the looks of it, this airship seems quite incapable of doing much more than, well, <laughs> staying afloat. Who is this Shores woman? Where's Rick Rickman? Has she ever thought that our ship's incredibly repulsive appearance is all a ruse? I'll show her capable. And that wraps up our live update. We will keep you posted. Ow! A crab just hit me. Oh, oh, crab! Crab! There are crabs falling from the sky! Run for your life! This is Jelly George! Run, run for your life! Father, what are you doing? He's launching crabs at the news lady! Oh, oh get her, master! <laughs> oh, she started it! She called our ship ugly! We must focus! This Bible is virtually indestructible! I've tried everything, and I mean everything, to get rid of it. But it seems we must move on to Plan B. <laughs> Excellent, Plan B. Just one more time, what is Plan B? Since we can't destroy the Bible, we will have to take it as far away from Rocket Cove as possible! <laughs> yes! Uh, Masters? Oh, we should have plenty of time, seeing as the exploration squad is incapacitated. Uh, um, uh, uh, Masters? Indeed. Yoo-hoo, Masters! What? Norton? I think we have visitors! Who? The exploration squad! Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa. We're going to need some more power here, people. Feel free to help out anytime. Gabby's right. We've got to keep the airship powered with more scripture. Remember everything you've learned from our adventures. I've got one. Remember when Ralph tried to bully me into giving up the science fair? I memorized Joshua 1-9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Ah, that's better. Yes! Way to go, sis! Looks like the airship one is up ahead. I think they spotted us. How do you know? Because they're picking up speed. Oh, no you don't. But that's impossible! Their airship doesn't fly without this Bible. Inconceivable! Right! Those little ruffians have duped us again! Why does this always happen to me? Now, now. We can still beat them. Whatever they're using as power can't possibly last forever. We just have to wait until they run out. Yes. Yes, you're right. Father, you pilot. I'll keep them distracted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cute evil laughter! They're going to have to refuel at some point. Maybe we can grab the Bible back when they do. I hate to break it to you, but we're kind of in the same boat. Incoming! Uh, we're taking fire, people! Uh, 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 oh, what is that? Uh, 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 it's an Akatina, the biggest snail species in the world. Uh, uh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Uh, we've got a problem. These Snails are making it impossible to see out the windshield. Oh, they used the wipers, Gabby. Can't! We're losing altitude! We need more power! Ooh, I've got it! One of my favorite verses is Psalm 119, 105. Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path! There we go. Wipers on! Ooh. That was a close one. I have a feeling that was just the beginning. Snail me. Yes! Oh! Nice 
shot, Master Vando. Whoa, that really slowed them down. <laughs> you get it? The snails, the slow? Norton! But thank you. Oh, I'm so excited we got to use the snails. A dream come true. It's a slime crime. <laughs> it won't take long for them to recover. I suppose you have something else up your sleeve? Oh, do I? Nanobots, assemble! Looks like the snail attack has subsided. That's a relief. Watch out! <gasps> Nanobots, hang on! Whoa! 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 Ah! Gabby, they flashed onto the right engine. There are thousands of them! <laughs> well, that didn't sound good. They ripped off the engine! We're going down, people! Whoa! Whoa! Someone call for help? Rupert? Rupert? Rupert! Well, where are you? I believe you are in need of a second engine, yes? It's Rupert! He's acting as the missing engine on the airship! I, I didn't know you could do that! <laughs> I am more than just a floating encyclopedia, Wyatt. <laughs> we are so glad you're all right, Rupert. Yes, Cameron's dad was able to fix me up as good as new. Looks like I got here just in time. Yeah, you did. These Bible thieves are throwing everything they have at us. I mean, snails were hitting the windshield. I always believed Cyrus would return for vengeance, but to steal the Bible. I must say, I did not expect that. And with his son, too. Do we have any idea what their plan of action is? Uh, send their AI out to confront you? Huh? huh? Look, their own robot is flying this way. My name is Norton. Da -da -da. Hear me roar! <laughs> Rupert, you've got company! Oh dear. Hello, Boopert! I am Norton, king of all artificial intelligences, and ready to take you on! <laughs> First of all, it is Rupert. And secondly, I was not aware the king of artificial intelligences needed a power call. Uh, what? It's only for emergencies, and I like to jump rope. Nonetheless. Why, I oughta. That's it. How long can you support the engineless airship if I tickle you? Tickle attack! Excuse oh! me. You fingers are dead. No, no you can't take this. Excuse You're going down. Excuse me, Norton. <laughs> I am a robot. Therefore, I am not ticklish. Who? Oh, what? No, not ticklish? Well, well, what if I press this shiny button? <laughs> Boom! Oh, no! Oh, oh, I win, I win, I win! Oh, I'm the champion! Goodbye! Oh, my masters are going to be so proud of me! Uh, Rupert's powering down and it isn't supporting the engine anymore! I am losing control again! And we need to grab Rupert before he falls! I've got it! Hoverboard, please. Here you go. See you later, dudes. Woohoo! Yeah! Logan? I've got Rupert. And I'm jumped beside of the airship. And though it feels like we're dragging a little. Logan's right. We need more power. Got it. Romans 8.28. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Amen to that! Here we go! Oh, that's better! I wonder if they could see us below. Nigel, Nigel, get this on tape. <clears throat> I'm Shelly Shores, bringing you the latest update with the airship fiasco happening just over town. It seems another airship has begun to chase down the other, squabbling over who knows what. What is that? It's a bird! No, it's a plane. No, it's definitely a bird. Eh, I'm pretty sure I know what I'm looking at. It's a plane. No, it's a boy. <gasps> Folks, it seems a boy is now supporting one side of the airship as the two ships head toward the bay. Stay tuned for more here on Channel 6 News. I'm Shelly Shores. I don't know how much longer we can keep this up, you guys. We can chase them all we want, but we need a plan to get the Bible back. Gabby's right. We either need to ground their airship or get on board. 
the only one capable of flying over to their airship is Logan. And with him acting as the second engine, he's a little busy. Well, we trusted God to get us into the air. Looks like we'll have to trust him with this too. We can't just let the exploration squad chase us around all day. You're right. We need a way to outrun them. Distract them with more snails. No more snails, father. We just need some sort of power boost. Yes, this is true. It's, it's just too bad you don't have your own power source. Like another Bible. That's it. We could get our own Bible. Or we could just use theirs. Oh, even better. If we just plug it into the mainframe, there. Most excellent. Say goodbye to the airship Genesis. There's no way they'll be able to keep up now. Goodbye. <laughs> In three, two, one. They must have used some sort of extremely strong power source to create that kind of speed. I hate to say it, but there's no way we can keep up with them now. They're getting farther and farther away. I wonder what they used for a power source. <laughs> Better hope it wasn't the Bible, because if they did, well, their airship would most likely combust. Uh, what do you mean, Emma? Well, the Airship One is no longer compatible with the Bible. It's too powerful for the Airship One. It would give them a power boost, but after a few minutes, the mainframe would begin to explode. But come on, they wouldn't do that, would they? Oh my goodness, they're going to blow up! Wyatt, is there any way we can warn them? On it! And we're in! They should be able to hear you. Hello, Airship One, do you read me? This is the Airship Genesis. You can't stop us now, Cameron, so don't even try! Listen, Vander. You need to land your airship immediately. The Bible isn't compatible with the Airship One. If you used it to give yourself a power boost, then... You're gonna explode! Ha ha! Nice try. Likely story. <laughs> yeah, likely story. <laughs> Remind me why we're helping them again? We're telling the truth. Vander, Cyrus, Norton, you have to listen to me or, or you might not make it. And why would you be trying to help us? Because that Bible power in your ship. It says in Matthew 5, 44, But I say to you, love your enemies, bless those who curse you, do good to those who hate you, and pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you. You may be our enemy, Vander, but we're called to love you just the same. I, I don't know. <gasps> oh, fire! Fire! Right Airship One, come in! What? Their airship is heading for that small island! All we can do now is pray! Hey Gabby, can you land this thing on that island without me? Should be able to land with one engine, Logan. Why? Do it! I'll meet you there. Shelly Shores here again at Rocket Cove Bay where it seems the less appealing airship is heading down in flames. All we can only hope is passengers survive. Wait, wait, the boy on the hoverboard is diving toward them. He, he, he's managed to latch some kind of rope onto the ship. Yes, he's slowing their fall. Well, they may actually make it. By the power of this mystery boy's hoverboard, he has landed them safely on the Bay's Island. Oh, this is a very grateful Shelly Shores. Oh, oh, what was that? Anyone else okay? We're alive! Alive! Yay! Hello there. Oh, it's you and your squad. I believe you have something that belongs to us. No! It's ours! We won the Bible fair and square. Yeah, square and fair! Uh, you stole it. Nay, well, yeah, so? Father, may I have the Bible, please? But, but, uh, Bible sticks. Huh? Look, don't think we're going soft at all. But, you did just save our lives. We'll give the Bible back. For now. But, 
Don't think we won't try to steal it again. This isn't the end. We would expect nothing less. I, I've just got one question. What? Those hedgehogs back in the beginning of the school year. Was that your doing? I knew it. I said it then, and I'll say it again. Snails would have been way better. Father! <laughs> <laughs> I thought so. Come on, squad. We've got some legendary artifacts to collect. Yeah! If I get put to sleep one more time... I think it's time to get rid of your deep sleep software, Rupert. It's good to have you back again. Uh, again. Thank you, Wyatt. May I also just say I am thankful I do not have a power cord, even for emergencies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, at least we know who's been causing trouble for us all year. We will need to take extra security precautions against Cyrus and Vander. That's for sure. Though, by the look of their airship, they'll be out of service for a while. That's true. We also learned something else, squad. How important it is to have God's word hidden in our hearts. Cam is right. Not only were we able to use the verses we learned to power the airship Genesis, but we can also use them to learn how to follow God our entire lives. Yeah. Because we spent time in the Bible, we were able to have victory in a lot of ways, like having faith in God even in hard times. Because of God's truth, I had victory over fear this year. I stood up for what I believed in, just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego did in the book of Daniel. God's word helped me to overcome worry. We saw Jesus calm the storm for the disciples, just like he calms the storms in our lives. It's so good to know that Jesus will always be with us. The Bible taught me how to be a better leader and to trust God even when things aren't going my way. Like Joseph learned during his life, that God knew exactly what he was doing with Joseph, even if Joseph couldn't understand it yet. Those complaining Israelites in the desert showed me how to be a more godly teammate, and to not complain when God has done so much for me. Oh, and remember Jonah? I'll always remember not to rebel against the plan God has for me, and to forgive others just like God forgives me. I'm going to make sure that I always say yes to God, just like Mary did. Plus, I will never forget that God can use anyone to do amazing things for him. I learned that from Rahab. Wow, we learned so much from the pathways we've been on. That's so right. right. Best of all, God's word always has something new to teach us. No matter how old we get or what comes our way, the Bible always has the right answers. I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited for what God's going to keep showing us. Speaking of, I believe the Bible is opening up a pathway. Strap in, squad. Here we go! Yahoo! Remember, by reading the Bible, you can hide God's word in your heart and take it with you wherever you go. We will see you next time aboard the airship Genesis. Hey, hello, squad. That was really a great adventure. It sure was. I never stopped to think how much we've learned from God's Word. Yeah, I usually never memorize anything. But knowing the Bible is super important. Dr. J, do you have any Bible verses memorized? Oh, yes. I started memorizing the Bible when I was a kid. And I was in a program called Bible Memory Association where we memorized verses every week. And I still memorize verses even now. In fact, I'm trying to memorize the whole book of Philippians. And uh, it's really a blessing to know the Word of God in your heart. That's impressive. Why is it so important to read and remember verses from the Bible? Well, because that makes the Bible portable. That means you take it with you wherever you go. Sometimes when you're in the midst of life, you don't have time to go find a written copy of the Bible. So if you've memorized some key verses, you got them in your heart, they're available to you right then. And boy, I'm telling you, sometimes you just need a word from God right at the moment. Oh, yeah. Of course. Thanks, Dr. J. Nothing is more extreme than God. I'm going to go read the entire Bible and memorize it all. <laughs> and we can't wait to see you again next season. Goodbye, Bye, Dr. J. Hey, I look forward to these visits. Thanks for having me. We'll look forward to another time soon. Well, it has been an amazing season. Thank you so much for joining us on our adventures. It won't be long before we set off on another season aboard the airship Genesis. 
So I hope you'll join us. Until then, keep reading God's Word every day. <laughs> and if you missed any episodes along the way, you can go back and listen to them all. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Take a high-velocity journey through the entire Bible with the newest book from Airship Genesis, Discovery, understanding the 66 books of the Bible for kids. Go page by page through this colorful hardcover book, discovering an easy to understand overview of every one of the 66 books of the Bible. From Genesis to Revelation, you'll learn what each book is about, why it was written, who wrote it, and what you should know about it, plus a key verse and prayer. Discover God's Word like never before with Discovery, understanding the 66 books of the Bible for kids. For more information or to order, go to airshipgenesis.com slash discovery.